Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to do some DIY Dollar Tree farmhouse easter eggs, including some Ray Dunn inspired eggs. You're going to need this sleeve of plastic eggs. I'm going to use these pails and these chalk eggs for another one, and then this is the third one, but I don't have to do anything to it. <laughs> and we're going to use some of our homemade chalk paint in white, and then some of these Ray Dunn inspired letters for Easter, I'm sorry, words for Easter, which I'm going to link from my Pinterest page down below. So the first thing we want to do is we want to select, I just picked six. There is 18 eggs in this pack, I think. And um, what you want to do is you want to run a bead of glue on the inside of the top of the egg. So if you see here that I'm trying to run it along the seam on the bottom, when you close it, it squeezes all out. And then you're left with the big bumpy glue. So what I did come to find out, as you see here, is that if I run the bead of glue along the inside of the top, um, then I close it, which basically there is like um, a little step down, you know, like uh, one piece of the egg fits inside the other one. You want to do the piece that it fits into, not the piece that fits into. In case you get eggs that have different configurations of tops and bottoms, I don't know. But basically, um, you don't want any of the glue to be out, but you want to glue around the whole edge. I'm just using hot glue. Um, regular standard hot glue not the gorilla glue or anything special and it seemed to have hold pretty well because it's so high temp and the plastic is so cheap it kind of almost melts the plastic together which is really great um and i'm doing this for all of them and then um you can sand them um if you wanted to the seams are imperfect um but we like per i like perfectly imperfect anyway but if you wanted to seam the edges um then you could run a bead of glue on there and then you could um wipe it off or you could um sand the edges with a really high grit sandpaper like a 220 or a really um uh, delicate fine nail um nail file would be work you know like a would work to an emery board um, there is like a hinge on the back, which I didn't care. I just always turned that towards the back of the egg when I was writing on them. So when I was trying to figure out how I'm going to keep these eggs painted and dried, I'm going to show you two methods. One of them is I had a bush when I had done the hoop wreath tutorial. Um, hopefully you guys have seen that. It's in my um, DIY playlist. Um, I had these basically the stems left over and the stems were all connected and a lot of times we have these left over and they just go in the garbage so I created a um like an armature for to hold the eggs now each one of these eggs from the Dollar Tree has a hole in at least one hole in it but most of them have a hole in the top and the bottom um not exactly sure why but that makes it easy for these eggs to rest on this. And I just splayed the arms out of the um, branches, I'm sorry, of the stems, so that the eggs wouldn't touch, but they would be balanced. Now, it, I did rest it in a jar um, of beads, but you could um, stick it in some styrofoam block if you have it. Um, but just basically any way to keep it standing up straight so it doesn't get messy. Now, as you start to paint these, the the um, eggs do get weighty, so it wants to pull in other directions. So my only recommendation is just do um, one and then do one across from it. You know, put one across from it and then try to keep yourself balanced as best as possible. But it took some trickery <laughs> in the beads anyway, because the jar is not very deep. Um, and it's messy, but it's fun. And this is a great project to do with the kids. You know, you can always go back and touch up um, when we were when I was in second grade and younger and a little older, when I was around six or seven and eight, um, we took a ceramics class. My mom's friend, uh, Joni Prisco, taught ceramics. And what she would do is we would just paint however we wanted. And then she would go back and she would um, not clean it up so much, but she would add the fine details for us. Um, and then clean it up as if needed, like it depended on how old you were, um, how much input she, you know, you wanted. She would ask you to, so. But I just want to show you that's what you can do. Your kids can make messy white eggs, and then you can go ahead and touch up whatever. And you can do this in every color chalk paint and just leave them as farm eggs. Um, the... I want to let you know that this inspiration was from one of the subscribers named Dre. Uh, hi, Dre. Dre Hooray um, sent me a link on her Facebook marketplace that um, one of the people who live by where she lives 
was making these and selling them. So I was like, okay, I'll make them for you guys. And then, of course, my friend Emily in Texas, hi, Emmy, um, is really getting into the Ray Dunn look. So I thought she would really enjoy these for her Easter table. But I also love them. They're kind of cute. Um, I'm not huge on the Ray Dunn. I think the stuff is lovely. It's just out of my price range. So anytime I could make anything, to me, it's just very farmhousey. I love all things white ceramic, and I love um, black and white and thin country letters, as you know. So um, basically, I'm just going to leave these to dry, and then I'm going to show you the second method. Um, if you don't have a branch left out over, I've just taken anything that will hold the egg from rolling around. And this happened to be a spool of ribbon that I just took the top off because it gets sit right there. But if you have an old egg carton or any of that stuff, you just want to be able to paint half the egg. And I wanted to do not the top and bottom half, but the side by side half because I wanted the brush strokes in there. But you guys do whatever works for you. And um, this is the next day when I actually came back. And actually, it's not. It's later that day. I came back and I brushed the other half. And I actually ended up giving um, the eggs a second coat because they were nice and smooth. But I kind of wanted to add some texture to it. And I left my chalk paint open um, to get a thick textural sort of... Uh, basically to thicken up my paint to dry it out a little bit and that's what I did so after two days there um, we printed out the letters on the computer and I decided to pick which ones I wanted um, I picked faith blessed Easter happy risen and family nope not family faith yeah family it was family and <laughs> I um, just used the same transfer technique we've always used before. I used my number 6B pencil, but basically it's a really um, chalk, uh, really, a really smooth, oh, uh, soft graphite. Thank you. I couldn't think of the word. And you brush it along the back, and then you just lay it where you want to and go over all the letters. And it actually works out pretty good, especially on white. You know, this, this uh, chalk paint really held the pencil really nicely. Um... Um, just, you know, be careful not to press on too much. You get your egg dirty, but that's also easily, um, here you go, right there. See it? Um, it's also easily, uh, rectified, rectified, oh, ratified, rectified, rectified. Oh my goodness. I need coffee. <laughs> it's easily fixed if it, if it does. You can always wipe, wipe it off. Um, and then I'm going over it with a Sharpie. This is just a plain black Sharpie. Now, there was one egg at the end that was, had extra texture and extra bumps. And what I what I found technique-wise is to just go slowly with the Sharpie. Um, and it will fill in whatever holes you have, uh, whatever divots, uh, creases, and stuff like that. So, Okay. And you're just going to repeat them for all the eggs that you have. Now, you could make all 18 of these. There's plenty of letters, uh, plenty of words, excuse me, on this sample page. Um, but, you know, do as many or as little as you want. Um, I also want to tell you, so if you do have your chalk paint dry out on you, um, the, the chalk paint that we made, you could always just add a little water to it. And I just do a, a few drops at a time or, you know, a half a teaspoon at a time. And mix it up and it will come back to life for you as well but like I said I left mine open on purpose because I wanted to get a nice thick textural sort of like that handmade ceramic look if you are not familiar with a Ray Dunn um, products they're like a homemade ceramics um, basically that look like this they're white with real thin black letters and um, I just wanted to get more of a I wanted the eggs to look more like they were chalk eggs, not chalk painted plastic eggs, if that makes sense. All right. The other two DIYs we have, well, technically one of them's not even a DIY. <laughs> the other two, um, the other one DIY we have and the other uh, set of eggs that are farmhouse were from the Dollar Tree and I wanted to be able to offer you a variety of um, 
items that were available. Not everybody was able to find the chalk um, eggs or the um, little farmhouse speckled eggs that were in the six pack. But everybody can pretty much find these plastic eggs. And with the homemade chalk paint, this is a project you can do for just pennies on the dollar um, per egg, actually. I think it's, we say 18 eggs. I'm making noise. Sorry. Um, yeah, there's 18 eggs per pack. So you can make them for, for virtually nothing. And the lady um, from the Inspiration was selling them a dozen eggs for $10. So just to give you an idea of what they could go for if you were a person who sold crafts. All right. Now you could also personalize these with um, basically whatever names you wanted to do. If you wanted to put um, your family's names on them. I think that there are a lot of the different letters you could copy from but I have a few um, I have watched a few um, Ray Dunn inspired DIYs and a lot of those ladies will tell you how to get free fonts for your computer that give you the same types of letters um, or you could just go on to raydunn.com and you can see how all the letters look there And, um, so that's really it for these. Um, what I've done next is, um, and this is 100% totally optional and you don't have to actually do it even this way. Um, I wanted to go fill in the holes. So what I did was I took the very next day, actually you can see the eggs are actually done when I'm doing this, is I have, um, taken the chalk paint that has really like dried up on the edges and I've used it as almost like plaster fill, like like spackle <laughs> to fill in the holes. And here they are, I think they're super cute. And you can see most of them, you can't even see the lines. Um, so here's the next one and then this one is like so easy. I think these projects go from hard to like super easy. I found these three pails in the wedding section. You get three for a dollar. Um, all these things are from the Dollar Tree. And then I've used some of these, I want to show you these chalk um, they're actually chalk, like, you know, sidewalk chalk, shaped like eggs. And they're a little too small for these um, buckets. This was inspired by an item that I had bought a few years ago, uh, actually quite a few years ago. It was a little wax egg in, um, in uh, a little silver galvanized pail that I've had just forever. Um, so I've taken a piece of the raw burlap, uh, burlap ribbon and I've just taken, I don't know, about six or eight inches. And I actually have two different ones. Um, you do what you choose. Um, one of them is full with a lot of burlap. And then I'll show you the one at the end is not. Um, and I've just wrapped it around basically like a cone around my fingers and stuffed it in there, as you can see. And then just wrapped the egg in there. That just helps hold the egg up. But it also gives a very, um, adds to the farmhouse feel between the white pail and the um, teeny tiny egg. I mean, and the burlap. And then this last one, I used a smaller piece. And the egg just settles down a little bit lower. But it still looks super cute. And that's the end of this one. This one's super easy. You could also put your Ray Dunn eggs in the pail as well if you want to. Um, that would also look very cute. And um, I only did this with three of them. There are three more eggs in the package. I could have got another package of pails. But I wanted to stick the ones with more neutral colors. And here they are, and I just think they're so cute. This is also another way just to do some decorative eggs your kids have. And as far as this craft is concerned, I didn't do anything. <laughs> Basically, I was thinking about unwrapping the plastic, but I was like, nah. So that's it, everybody. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and these um, ideas for Easter eggs in the farmhouse style all from the Dollar Tree. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Share with friends and family. Anybody you know may be interested in making all one or all of these. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe. When you do, a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. So as always, you take care. God bless. See you next time. Bye.